I'm Bill Snigris, and this video is uh, kind of a sneak peek behind the scenes of a, of a photo shoot. Uh, this is Emma Carilla. Emma is a photographer and uh, works with me and helps me out with Bill Snigris Photography. And today we're going to, to meet up with uh, a couple who wanted prom pictures made. And so that's what we're on our way to do. Um, I've already done all the boring stuff, or some of the boring stuff, and, and I've already got it all like packed up. So I cleaned the lenses and things I do before any like big photo shoot. I cleaned all the lenses, made sure all the batteries were charged. I uh, got all the paperwork together. And, and if you're gonna go into the photography business, and business means money, money probably means paperwork. So uh, what I like to do so I don't get anything like confused at a shoot, is I have all the forms like already pre-filled out. I have uh, as much of the information about the shoot already filled in. And, and I have two forms I use. One is a, a, a session um, information form which tells me what to do and what to do after the shoot. And the other is a, an agreement form that they have. It acts as a receipt. It tells them what their licenses are to the, the, the um, images that, that, are, that are taken. So all that's been done, lenses are clean, batteries charged, and cameras are ready to go. So, I, I wanna address something that I've seen a whole bunch of ads on YouTube about. Um, there's a, a master class for photography from a, a world famous portrait photographer. And, and she says in the, the teaser for the master class, she says, as a portrait photographer, I don't think it's my job to necessarily set the subject at ease. And I've thought a lot about that. We got a Snapchat. Snapchat from mom. Mom has Snapchat. No, it was just a text. Just a text. So, so do we set the the models at ease or not? Is is that our job? Well, here's here's my response to to her. Now, obviously, she's world famous, so she knows what she's talking about, but. She's probably not doing prom pictures. And I think the last thing in the world a customer for prom pictures is gonna want is, is pictures where they look tense and nervous and just all out of sorts and everything. And so um, last summer, Emma and, I, Emma and I were shooting some, some, some uh, photo sessions. So what do you think about that? Setting the models at ease, you did a, a lot of that. Well, like, like, we, um, like what you were saying with like prom photos, you want to capture their memories and their memories aren't going to, they're not going to want their memories being them uncomfortable in photos. They want to like have it captured that they're having a good time and it's like one of the most memorable night, night of their lives. So, you... so, so we want to we wanna go into this with the idea that the, 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 the couple they're probably going to be a little nervous because you know they're in tuxedos or whatever they're wearing. I don't know prom dress, and there's going to be some nervousness. Plus, there's this this guy with a camera, and I don't know. Do you know them at all? I know. So you all you yeah. know them from? I know Avery because she was in track with me last year. Okay, so so Emma already knows the the girl. So that's going to just automatically make things a lot easier, and that that's one of the things I found in the last. I don't know, the, the last couple of years I've been doing a lot of, um, I was a cop. I have no idea what the speed limit is. He's just not turning around. <laughs> Speaking of not being uh, at ease. Anyway, uh, I've, I found that, that, that getting people to be comfortable really helps them just relax into the moment and, and enjoy it and get a laugh. I said in another video, one of the things I usually will try to do is something, you know, I try to break the ice early on and then, and then move, you know, maybe more towards some of the more um, challenging poses and camera angles and things like that. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're we're going to be shooting. Uh, we're going to be shooting two cameras. So hopefully, between the two of us, we're going to be able to get a, a lot of really, really good pictures. So um, got to get back onto the, my maps app so I can figure out how to get to this Ogden Gardens place. So I'm going to shut this down and. Uh, maybe we'll have some things to show you at Ogden Gardens so that's what we got coming up so we are set up and now ready to uh, receive the couple and start this photo shoot there's a wedding going on which the the uh, client knew about this and cleared that we could be here to do this so here we go 
All right, so the photo shoot is over, and uh, uh, Em and I parted ways. She's go gone home, and so uh, during the shoot, there just never really was. Uh, there was never really a good time to, to whip out the camera and uh, start videoing. We were really busy. We were trying to beat the the crunch of of getting to the prom and and all that stuff, but. Uh, we had some real, really good pictures. I'm share a couple of them here in the in the video, uh, and um, it was it, it, we we feel like that that they're going to be really satisfied. Um, so my delivery method is uh, is I will load all the pictures up into uh, a Google Drive, and then. Um, share that drive with the, the client and then um, the client will go through and pick any ones that they want me to, to edit and I'll, I'll edit a couple of them just for for my own promotional purposes so that's that's kind of the the flow of a, a sh photo shoot for Bill Snodgrass photography I'm looking forward to doing now doing a lot more shoots uh, doing as many shoots as I can this summer and uh, senior pictures and those kinds of things so uh, trying to get get everything organized and, and moving in that direction so um i guess that's about it uh, i wish i could have done the time lapse of the actual shoot but we, we were actually moving around through the ogden gardens quite a bit and there was a, a, a lot of movement going on and um it, it, there just never was really a good time to whip the camera out and set set it up and so um didn't do that but anyway Hope you enjoyed the video, day in the life, behind the scenes of, of a Bill Snyder's photography photo shoot, except it was really like both behind the scenes of before the shoot and after the shoot. But it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, share, like, comment, and we'll see you in the next video.